Hi guys, how you doing? It's me Sam. I thought I'd do a video today all about the Humble Loop Station. This one is a TC Electronics Ditto, which I really like. It's very simple, which appeals to me. Uh, and I thought I'd just put together a list of things that you may have not thought about doing with a loop station. So I hope you enjoy this video. Here we go. Okay, so that's something I saw in a Guthrie Govern video. He became his own metronome using a loop station. Uh, so how do we do this? So I'm kind of trying to imitate that kind of high click for the one, and then that low click for the two, three, four. And an effective way to do this, if I go to the close-up camera here, is to put my pinky where the middle pickup is on a strap and then my first finger kind of halfway between where the neck pickup is and the middle pickup is so kind of around there and then all the rest of my palm is just doing some extra muting and you should find that it sounds about right in that position and I've just got everything turned off effects wise maybe a little bit of a boost but definitely no reverb and definitely no delay. So you want it nice and dry. So there you go, the Guthrie Govan Loop Station uh, metronome. <laughs> So this is a Paul Gilbert trick. That lick is saved in my loop station. And if you're playing the show live, you could be playing your licks. And then you can sneakily turn your volume down, hit the pedal. And uh, tips for that, when you do the loop, start with a little uh, slide up because you want to have something filling the gap between when you turn your volume down and when you move up into position and that's exactly what that does and then holding a note at the end is a good thing because you can pretend to hold that note at the end let's do that again <laughs> Okay, so that's sort of a Malmsteen kind of pattern uh, in the key of E minor. And what I'm doing is, it's a group of four, and I'm actually starting on the root on the B string. Shifting up, and again. Until I come to end on the root again. And then I did the harmony a third above. So what that means is instead of starting on E, I'm three notes in the scale above, which is a G, and I decided to shift over to the E string. And same kind of idea, I started on the G, so I want to finish on the G. Ending on a bit of vibrato at the top there. So that's a great way to work on your scale knowledge and to work on your alternate picking and uh, all sorts of good stuff there. Thank you. 
jamming is such a great use of a loop station. You can just stick down a chord sequence there, then put a little boost on your signal, and just have loads of fun thinking about note choice, thinking about all of those techniques that we practice, and making them musical. So uh, lots of fun for sure. Okay, so putting a pedal note into a loop station can be a great way to, to get to know your scales a little better. And it gives you that guiding tone to show you when you're in and out of key. Uh, when you've got that on, it's very apparent when you hit a bad note. Uh, so all I did there is I just played an E minor, I let it decay a little bit, and then I just put it into the loop for about a second. So a little bit and there it is then you can maybe turn the volume up depending on how loud you hit that chord and uh, off you go So that was a bit of a loop station version of the Gary Moore classic, Parisian Walkway. It's one of my personal favourite tunes from him. Uh, so this is a great use for a loop station. You can put down a chord sequence like that, then you can put down a lead line and a harmony, and uh, it makes it feel like you're playing with other people, even though you might be just sat in the studio by yourself like I am now. Okay, so very similar to the Malmsteen thing that I was doing in thirds, only rather than being diatonic, I'm pentatonic here, and working in octaves. 
So I have the low octave down here, and then the high octave up here. So again, another way just to work on your scale knowledge, and uh, it's just lots of fun. Feels like you're playing with someone else, and that's pretty awesome. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do click the subscribe button and come see me for more videos like this. I try to post a video every week, so there's plenty of content on here. Uh, thanks very much guys. See you soon. Bye.